Hello, this is a video on how to install the N-Pass into a Viper Tech uh, bolt carrier group. This uh, video is for the 16 millimeter or the 18 millimeter bolt carriers. This is not for the uh, the Z parts uh, bolt carrier groups. So those, uh, uh, I have a separate video for that if you need that. But this is uh, only for the stock Viper Tech uh, nozzles. So what you wanna do first is you wanna clock uh, the nozzle correctly. This is basically how you're going to be putting in the uh, crown, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So you're going to want to just follow this line and just mark it right there. And then you'll take off. This piece. So now with that line, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the pin is parallel with it. So when you put it in, you're gonna put it in like that. So now, now that you have it marked, you're going to want to uh, get your JB weld ready. to come out a little faster. I'd say that's good enough. So now you're gonna to wanna to put just a little bit of JB Weld around the inside of here, just kind of around the lip of it. Like so. And then you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit on the surface of the crown too, uh, where it's gonna be inside of the rear part of the nozzle. There you go, like so. And then you're just gonna want to insert this and make sure you clock it correctly with the, the marking that you made. And then kind of rotate it as you go in, but make sure it ends at the correct clocking. You're going to want to wipe off any excess on the outside. There you go. Make sure you don't get the JB weld everywhere. So now that that's done, this will cure in about, uh, it says four to six hours. I usually do about 24 hours anyway, though, just to really make sure it's cured. Um, so now, <coughs> so now, The mark that you made, you're going to want to make sure that that lines up. Make sure that the end pass goes in like so, so that when it goes in, it is upright when it all the way screwed in. So now screw it all the way in. Now you can adjust it using a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench.
you're gonna to wanna to start with adjusting it. That's about the midway mark, like that. Um, or maybe even a little less than that. Um, but basically, if you adjust it uh, too far uh, to higher power, it's not gonna work as well. If you adjust it too far the other way, you're not gonna get any BBs down the barrel. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, that's the installation. Uh, also, you're going to want to put a drop of a thread locker on there as well, because um, otherwise it will probably come loose. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.